Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today along with my son, Nathaniel. He's doing the camera work today. Guys, we're right here on our trailer, and what we're gonna do here is install the wheel bearings, okay? Now, these wheel bearing hubs have um, tapered roller bearings. So this uh, procedure we're doing here would work for uh, some vehicles as well, especially older vehicles. Um, there's not too many cars on the road that still have tapered roller bearings on the front. A lot of them have went to a sealed bearing uh, inside a knuckle, but there are some that still do, okay? Some of your trucks and stuff. So hopefully, maybe this will help a few people. Now, what we've already done, we have our cap, our nut, and our little locking ring here. And Nathaniel has us some new cotter pins in his pocket. And we marked all these hubs before we done this. Um, so we know that this one goes here on the left side, number one hub here. All these have been cleaned, packed. There's grease inside here. Some of the bearings have been replaced. I can't remember which hubs we did. But our uh, inner bearing is already packed, ready to go inside here. Seal is already driven back into place, okay? So all we have to do here today is go ahead and install this onto the knuckle or to the spindle. And I guess that's all the way right there. Okay, that's it. And we're going to put our tapered bearing here on the outside, just like so. And we will put our washer here. I always try to put the washer back the way that it looked like it went before. Yeah, it looked like it might've went that way. And the one thing I did forget was to bring was a rag. <laughs> so here's our nut that we're gonna put on here. I used to try to put it back the way that it looked like it was on there before as well. And we will let's see, start this nut if I can. There we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna pause here just a minute. I'm gonna go grab a rag. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I got an inch and a 16th socket here. This is the size that fits this nut here. And what I typically like to do is go ahead and grab your nut, rotate the um, hub in the direction that the vehicle turns in, okay? And go ahead and snug it down about as tight as you can get with your hand, okay? And, and actually, from that point, I usually back off and just kind of come back at it a time or two because a tapered roller bearing, folks, is supposed to have a little bit of preload on it. You don't want to leave it loose. It'll actually cause more wear than it will be if it's too tight, okay? So um, you don't want it over tightened as well because you'll actually cause premature wear as well. But being too loose is not good as well. So what I typically like to do is go and get all that play out of there and then come back up on this thing. And typically about that right there is kind of a feel that I have for it, you know? and that gives you just a little bit of preload on a small bearing like this right here. Now, if it was a big old truck or something, might require some more preload. You know, I always look up the spec and everything. I looked up the spec for this vehicle and it looks, seems to be about 24 inch pounds, okay? So what I have here, guys, is an inch pound torque wrench and I've already got it set at 24 inch pounds, okay? And I just wanna to listen to what this feels. I'm holding this socket with my hand and you hear that click? It ain't very much, guys. That's not very much torque right there, okay? So I'm gonna loosen this by hand, get just a little bit loose, okay? And now I'm gonna torque it with this right here. You hear that? It stopped right there. Let me back up, spin it. And right there is about where, about where it's at. Let's see what that feels like kinda with my feel that I normally have, you know, that I've acquired over many years of being a mechanic. See, it's, that's it. I mean, that's about it right there. About right where I had it there is about where it needs to be, about 25 inch pounds. So let's go ahead. We're going to do it, do it all legal like on this car. Right, Nathaniel? You want your trailer done to spec, right? Let me tell you something, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So there we go, we're ready to go, guys. Okay, folks, with that uh, hub bearing um, torqued down to proper spec, uh, we have a new cotter pin. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our little locking ring on here. And what you wanna do is line it up with whichever hole you're gonna stick your cotter pin through, which we're gonna go through that one right there. So we want to 
move this thing around until we get it to where it looks like it fits the best, okay? And so I might already had it where I wanted to do that. So let's just keep flipping it around. That looks pretty good right there. Let's see if it'll go through it all the way. And nope, nope, you know what? I think it's a little bit off. Let's try another one. Maybe that one looks a little bit better right there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and stick our cotter pin through and there we go, we're all the way through. And uh, let's grab one end of the pin. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stick it up through the bottom where I can see what I'm doing better. Let's go through the bottom. And this is kind of a short cotter pin anyway. And it's kind of a tough one too. Let's see here. Wow, that is a tough little cotter pin. <laughs> Mm, there we go. We got to hold up now. I think we're going to go get a better pair of uh, needle nose here in a minute to do the rest of them. But there you go, guys. Bend your cotter pin over like so. Hang on. I'm going to go get a better pair of pliers. All right. We went and got a little bit better pair of needle nose here. And we just put a little final bend on this uh, cotter pin. Hopefully it won't be coming back apart for quite some time. Last time we packed these bears was 1999. All right, so there's one down. And let's go ahead and get another one on the thing. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the back one on this side, on the left side. So there's our hub installed, bear installed. Oh, hang on, still working on it. Hang on a minute. All right, pause it just a minute. Okay, guys, hey, we had a little problem here for a minute. We uh, paused the camera. Turned out we had a little burr on our spindle here. Um, our new bearing, wasn't, this is one of the new ones, and it wasn't wanting to go on there, and I went and mic'd it, and it was like a thousandth of an inch difference. But I finally found that it fit on the other spindles. So we ended up filing, running the file just around this um, spindle for just a moment, and voila, the bearing goes on there freely now. So, so now we can actually put this together and continue on. So let's go ahead and stick our bearing on there. Let's put our... And there's our rooster. That's Dale. <laughs> He's uh, being very vocal this afternoon. And let's go ahead. This goes up against here. And we're going to stick our nut on here. Like I say, I always try to look so I can tell what way it went before. Put it back the same way. So here we go. Let me grab my socket here. Got grease on my hands. Oh, we got the phone ringing too. Okay, guys, we're gonna do this in the same way. We're gonna spin it, turn it, and then we'll go ahead and we'll back it off just a little bit. We'll go ahead and put the torque on it with this bad boy here. Right there. Is where she says she wants to be. All right, good to go. Okay, we're gonna put the locking ring in place and the cotter pin. And then this one here will be done as well. Yeah, let's see here, oh, that's a little bit off too. So we'll find the right one here. No glass one there either. That one looks pretty close. Yep, that one will go all the way through. All right, so let's turn it up this way. We're gonna get to it. Grab it with the cotter pan. I mean, with the needle nose. So here we can bend this away. Yeah, we can bend that away. And we will go ahead and install our cap. And then we're gonna get this hammer right quick with that one. Okay, guys, there we go. This side's done.
Okay, friends, that just about wraps up today's video. We want to thank you for stopping by and checking out our little project here on uh, installing our hubs back onto our trailer. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description. There could be some links to some tools that could be helpful for you guys. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.